Okay everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, hi my name's Tammy. Um, I hope you've come along and um, from uh, Create with Scrimping Mummy which is Amanda. Um, I, it is my first the design team project um, which I'm a little bit nervous about if you can't tell. So I'm going to explain what we're doing and then as we go through well, I'll do the whole you know I like um, romantic dinners by candlelight and long walks along the beach kind of you know introduction to who I am if you're new um, but we're going to look at what I've come up with for my first um, design tier project so what I'm going to be making is one of these now for this one I have used one of um, Amanda's freebies but we're going to use one of her digital kits for the second one because I wanted two different looks and the reason for it is what's inside of it but what I have made is a lace trim holder. Um, so it's in a tag shape, as you can see. And when you open it up, we've got a whole bunch of different cards for different laces and trims. And I'm like, I wanted it to be, so it kind of what happened in my head was I saw these tags and I'm like, ooh, I like them. And then I'm like, what can I do with them? And then I was thinking, oh, it'd be cool to have a lace trim holder that was kind of like you know those old recipe books that were like you know entree main dessert and you could flick through and make combinations so that's kind of what come into my head and I wanted it to kind of be like a Rolodex so that I could sit there and easily see what kind of trims I had um, in easy access instead of me rifling through my drawers and trying to find what I need so this is kind of what I came up with in my head um, Probably no now there is absolutely no doubt that someone's done this before but you know this is What I decided in at 3 in the morning should happen then I made a little um, needle holder just Because um, just to put into the into a pocket in the side doesn't obviously have to be that and then in the back I used a couple of our little guest check ones just throw a little, little booklet that you might write some information down about whatever you've got in there I don't know but I just wanted to put pockets because if I can put pockets in I'm going to put pockets in but yeah so this is basically what I came up with um, and I'm going to reproduce it using as soon as I, um, I Amanda said that I was part of her team I was like I know which one I want to use and what I am using is her um, cherry blossom kit. And down in the description below, I will have all of the um, links to her uh, coffee site and also her Facebook group where she just generously gives out freebies every week. So I'll have them both linked down below as well. And um, so I needed to do her cherry blossom because I, um, I teach Japanese, That's, there's, there you go, there's another little fact about me as we go through. Um, so I teach Japanese at high school and I just want, I, I like anything Japanese and cherry blossoms and it was, you know, a bit shabby chic and I thought, well, I went, this one is shabby chic with a little bit of grunginess to it and this one I'm going to make pink and pretty and shabby. So that is what I'm going to do and we're going to go along hopefully together for the ride. So I guess I just get into it. Hey, all right. Um, what you're first going to need is some chipboard. So I'm going to tell you what chipboard sizes you need. You need two by way. Well, yeah, let's get that five and an eighth by eleven and an eighth. That's kind of what I've come up with if we're going to make the tags from scratch. Using this one, I printed onto A4 paper. It would be different if you print onto letter size paper. So it, it obviously will be dependent on what size you print your papers on to what will fit. So I've printed onto A4, so that's why I've got that little bit more length. Um, this one here, I believe, is six by a five and a half by. 11 and an eighth. It's just the other one's a little bit shorter because this was the chipboard that I had and I didn't want to cut into another big full sheet basically so I could afford to take it down a little bit so I did um, but you can either do five and a half anything more than five will work for the measurements that I give you um, by 11 and an eighth or 11 
doesn't matter again just work with what you've got and you need two of them so one two okay and then you will need a piece that is two inches by ten okay cool bananas let's get into this one and turn it into a cool tag all right what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here I'm gonna I think it'll be easier to see it on the black side so I'm gonna do it on the black side um, we're gonna come up here and we're going to come down one inch so one inch there might zoom in a little bit for you while I do this I think will probably be helpful all right we've got one inch there and then we're going to come in if I can see one inch there and we're going to do the same on the other side so one I'm not I'm, I'm trying to keep the measurements reasonably simple to work with and we're going to connect those two dots boom and bam all right we're going to cut them off now I am left-handed that has I had learned to do everything right-handed um, so everything I do looks wrong um, there's another fact about me so whilst I am old enough young enough that I didn't have got the left-handedness beaten out of me at school I also had to learn to do everything else right-handed so therefore I always look awkward and weird but I'm generally awkward and weird in real life so it kind of just works um, and yeah so probably do things more um, with more finesse than I do it I basically just you know plodge my way along and hope for the best all right my hands because people are going to ask about my hands okay I have I've been gardening this week so they're worse than normal and cooking because I've been on school holidays but also I they I scratch I've got a skin condition that runs in my family which means that we are perpetually itchy which means we always scratch no matter what I do what I take what I use um, and it just is what it is so my hands and my arms will always never look nice um, but it's okay okay it, I, I've had a few comments over time and it's like it's all right I, I can see them myself I know that they're there I've been living with it for you know a very long time but you know there's worse things I could have is the way I look at it so I'm I'm kind of of that opinion I'm pretty lucky that that's you know, the only major condition I have except for that I messed up in the head but you know most of us are um, that's that's all right Okay, okay. Okay. So we've got that, and hopefully we've got two tags that are kind of similar to each other. I don't even know what I did there, but let's just make this one the same as that one, hey? Um, obviously, I can't measure to save myself, but I want it to look the same. So that's what I'm going to do. Just make it look the same. Just fix things. Okay? Yeah, that was that's what I wanted to show you all along. That you could just have done that, which is what I should have done to begin with. All right. So I now have two tags. I get um, used mat boards from my local art store. I'm going to zoom back out now. Out we come. Okay. I get local the unused mat boards from the local framers for really cheap so that's why mine always look a little dodgy but um it's a good place to get them if you've got a local framer in the area see if they've got you know bits of mat board that they've cut out for their framing they've got that spare makes really good um decent quality tip book okay so let's get on to the next part i've got two of these ones printed out because this is what i want for the front and the back um, and yeah, so what I'm going to do is I am going to 
put this one here, put this one here, like so. Um, all right, and I'm going to trace around it. So what about me? I like to create. Um, if you look on my channel, you'll see I do lots of different things. Um, I obviously do paper crafts. So I do mini albums, journals, and so forth. But I also like to colour in. So I stream quite regularly um, colouring in. And if you go far, far enough back on my channel, you will see that... Um, I'm just going to get rid of that little bit there. That I even used to do makeup tutorials. So I am um, freelance makeup artist in the in my spare times when I could be bothered. Um, I used to do it more when I was younger. Now it's just like <sighs> work and come home and cut paper. But um, no. Um, yeah. So that's kind of thing. So I, I basically I think I've just always liked to come up with ideas of ways to put things together so that things look nice I think so what I'm gonna do is I could use a paper trimmer for this but I'm not going to I'm going to try and be you know a little bit fancy and just um, cut with scissors badly again left-handed using right-handed scissors so that's my excuse anyway sounds good you can go, yeah, sure, we don't believe you, and I don't blame you. Um, I probably wouldn't believe me either, to be honest. Alright, so we've got that one. So I'm just cutting in a little bit from the line that I drew. Uh, obviously, if you hadn't told, go, gathered from my accent, I am an Aussie. So I am from Queensland, Australia. That's about the only time you'll hear me say Australia. Um, Australia. Uh, I have a very thick Australian accent. Um, it is what it is. I, <laughs> I'm from the North Queensland bush. So it, it's strong. Um, I'm no city girl, let's put it that way. Okay. I've got, I'm using aged mahogany distress oxide. Um, yeah, so I grew up in a small town in North Queensland. Um, and then I went to uni, so university, college, whatever you want to call it. And I got my bachelor degree in biomedical science. And then I went on and did a bit of business, a business degree mostly, and then I got a job working for a large pharmaceutical company, hated it, um, and then decided to become a teacher. So I went back and got my teaching degree as well, and now I am a high school teacher. So I teach senior high school maths and sciences, so chemistry, psychology, that kind of stuff, as well as a bit of Japanese. So that's it. Um, there you go, a little bit more be at me. I live in paradise. I live in um, the Fraser Coast area of Australia and it is magical. Okay, so it's known as Gari. So Fraser Island is now known as Gari, which is um, after the um, Aboriginal spirit that was helping to create this area and then decided to stay because it was paradise and laid down to rest here okay so this is there so we've got them they're all ready to go okay put them aside for a moment then we've got this one here I've got a bit of this scrap and where is where is where is where is it did you go I'm trying to find, and you probably tell me if you've seen it. Oh, there it is. That smaller piece of um, chipboard for the spine, and I'm just going to 
it's always good when there's a grid here it like makes it so easy it's like cool even i can't completely stuff up the cutting um There we go. So that's that bit there. Ready to go. Um, yeah, so I saw Amanda put out a, a um, call for design team members and I thought, you know what, just try. Just try. You know, who knows? Maybe you might have something that some people would like. So I did. And I don't know. I think she might have liked what she saw, and um, I got that. Sorry for the noise, if you can hear it out the back. The next door neighbour has just decided to blow all of the leaves in his yard. Yay. Um, alrighty, we got that. What am I doing? Next part. The next part is... I'm going to put this together. Okay. I'm trying to think. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make the inside cover because it'll make life a lot easier when we get to it. So I'm going to quickly trim. I've got just some blank, um, like, scrapbook paper that matches in with the colour of the cherry blossoms. So that's kind of what I went for. Right, I'm going to just cut these down to five and an eight. Just under. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I disappeared for this, but my um, paper cutter is off to the side, so I just have to turn around. So I might, I might sound like I'm like from a distance, but that's where I am. All right. back at ya. Well, we can readjust these um, angles and stuff when we put it on as well. Um, it's easy to cut down because I'm not wrapping it. You could wrap it. I just decided it really wasn't necessary. Um, I was like, eh. Because it's just for me. I'm not selling it. It's just on my, um, on my desk. But I did do it so that you could either hang it, which is what I'm going to do. I've got some hooks beside me. And I'm like, that's a perfect place for them instead of having to turn around every time I want something little to rifle through the drawers that are literally just behind me but you know that's another extra effort step I've got to open the drawer so right, so we got that and now while I've got the um, ink out I'm going to just run it along the edge of this mat board So what else is there about me? I have a menagerie of animals. So I've got a dog, Casper, who is a white Labrador. He is a 40 kilo buffoon that is scared of thunderstorms and everything else that moves. Um, so he's a big sook. Um, I have two cats. So we've, I've got a very pretty cat. She is lovely, as in she looks lovely, but she's not a very nice cat. She's all about the looks and not about personality. Um, then I have a little, uh, another cat, Winchester. So the, the girl's name is Storm. And then I've got Winchester, who is my boy cat. He was the runt, rescued him as well. My, all my animals are rescues. And um, rescued him. 
and he is just the biggest, sweetest, lovable cat ever. He's just a big, big softy. So, um, Casper has the name Casper. I assume that the previous owners before I rescued, because he was about a year old when I rescued him. They um, were real original in coming up with his idea um, name, but I wasn't going to change his name. Storm, her and her sister turned up on my doorstep from a house that had been abandoned next door as little tiny little kittens, and I didn't know whether they were male or female, so we called them Storm and Ash, but I could only keep one. The rest I got, the other one I got rehomed, as along with the mama cat. Um, okay, so we've got that. <clears throat> now we are going to put a little bit of lace on to here that I can use as a tie. I'm using lace for this one because this is going to be where I keep my laces. So I want to use a bit of lace so that um, I know what's in here. So I know what trim I've got. So that is why I'm using lace for this one. Right in the middle, out there, and close. And um, so that's a dog, two cats. I have th how many rats? Three rats. So I've got three rats. They are Chibi, which means little one, Susu, which means soot, and Latte. Latte is a rescue rat. Um, so we didn't pick the name for Latte. Um, my previous rats have all had Harry Potter ones, but this Chibi and Susu we went a little bit um, Studio Ghibli with. And then we've got, all right, so now we've got this and this, and we can start thinking about putting it together. So I'm going to turn this one around, and I'm going to get this one here. I've got a bit of lightweight cardstock, so not heavyweight, so the, you know, the lightweight cardstock that you can get. Um, I've got some of that, and it's 5 by 10. Okay, and what I'm going to do is stick it on here. So I'm making a lay flat um, style of spine so that when we open it up, it lays flat, which allows that rolodexing um, part to really happen. Um, just using some silver sided tape. Now I try to, you know, I made a prototype for this one. That's generally not how I work with things. I, I kind of just wing it most of the time. So I'm kind of trying, <laughs> trying to trying to be helpful, but really am not. Uh, okay, so I got this. And wait up, I'm going to use some glue. I like to use glue and tape. Um, tape is helps it happen straight away, so I can keep working. Um, but I don't trust it to last. So I like to use glue as well. So this is just, I think in a lot of places it's called three in one or whatever it's called, but it's it's Kalal. It's just a, a um, solvent based glue. So it doesn't warp. Okay. I'm going to place that kind of in the middle. Doesn't really matter, but kind of like that. And. Make sure that's well adhered. I'm just going to bend it this way and bend it that way so that I can start working the paper. And I'm going to rub this out just so it's not there for later. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to come along with that. Age mahogany again and just do a bit of inking just down in the parts that might be seen. It doesn't you don't really have to do this. I just like I like to ink. I like to ink it. Okay. Alright, so we got that and then this is this one that's gonna be on the outside. 
So I'm just going to bend this back now. And I'm going to come along and just ink along here as well. this thing together. Me too. Bit lopsided tape there. And lopsided tape there. Oh, well done, Tammy. Well done. Lopsided tape there. I'm going to tie this up so it's out of my way while I do the rest of this. Nice big bow. I'm going to clip you up here. And clip you. Just so it's out of the way while I do the rest. Okay. That one and that one. Okay. So, tell me about you guys. Oh, there goes that one. Maybe we won't be worrying about that one. Um, where are you guys from? Are you new here? Or are you someone that's been following me for a while? It's always nice to know. Um, yeah, I always like, I love knowing different people across different parts of the world. So, um, makes it seem that it's not so far away because, you know, we're in the middle of whoop whoop down in the, down the bottom. You know, conspiracy theories that we're all paid actors. I'm not paid enough, I can tell you that. Okay. But I, mu I must admit, I do get to live in a fantastic place. So, definitely enjoy it. All right. Coming along. I'm just leaving one or two mils without glue, millimetres, um, or a sixteenth of an inch, whatever you want to call it. Just so that we've got a bit of give when I put this down. Okay, like that. That's well smudged. And take two. Still with me? Doing well. We're half an hour in. I made the prototype this morning at like two in the morning. I woke up and I was like, oh, I just put this door. I couldn't get back to sleep. And I was like, look, okay. like that. So if I sound like I'm rambling, it's because I was up at two o'clock this morning. Okay. This one down, make sure it's well adhered. Okay, let's get going on this now. We're going to do the outside. We're going to have these. And can you see what I mean about it laying flat? So it means that it lays nice and flat. Alright. I'm going to put some double sided tape down here just to hold the lace in place. Lace in place, I'm a poet. What the? But yeah, I liked. Oh, look at that. I just ripped it off. Because that'd be good. Uh, now I've got a knot in it. Um, 
Yeah, so paper crafting and, and colouring and all are just my ways of, um, I guess, escaping. Well, not escaping, but managing, you know, real life things like anxiety and all of those kind of things. Or I, I sit there and say I've got undiagnosed ADHD. I probably do. Um, all of those kinds of things. It just helps me come home from work and just have an outlet. Where I can do things. All right, I got this. Let's put these down. But making sure I've got glue going mostly into along the edges and into the corners because um, we don't want it lifting up on us. Oh, look at that, it could fly. Anyone would think I'm coming back into summer. It's the first fly I've seen in a long time. Okay. While well, you guys are up north are all going getting colder, we're getting hotter. Yay! Joys of southern hemisphere life. Always opposite. Upside down. goes. Yeah, I like just I like coming up with ideas. Um, I, I think that's that's my thing. There's different ways to do things, different ways to look at things. So you'll have to let me know if there's any ideas that you would like and thing problems that I can maybe create. Okay. All right, so we got that. So that's now the outside. So now we can turn around and work on the inside. So we can put these guys down. Yeah. Oh no. Yes. Yes. I'm like thinking to myself. I'm like, am I good? Can I do this? Have I missed a step? Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll probably get most of it done and go. Oh, I was meant to do this. going to now that we've got it down any areas where I'm like oh we could do a little bit more inking inking so come along and do that there we go okay so that's the housing part built we can come along and put a hole in it now we want to turn it into a tag. Okay, let's go. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I have to use the, the, the crocodile. I think I've got too many layers. I did it earlier last time. Okay, 
pas. And there's two. Okay, so we've got them. I'm going to do a little bit of inky inky around it just because it looks cool. So I it on the inside. And there's Casper. Okay, I just had to pause for a second there because Casper was barking at the birds. I didn't think he'd want to hear it. Next thing you're going to need is some heavyweight cardstock. So this is 350 GSM, which I googled and is about 130 pounds. Um, so the, the thicker stuff, um, not the thin stuff. And this, is, I need you need three pieces that are 3 by 11 and a half. That's kind of what I'm going with there. Okay. So you can either do this with an A4 size or a uh, 12 inch size, probably not letter size, or you could adjust it. Okay, you could probably get by without it, but yeah, I don't know, I'm talking to myself now. Okay, scoring, we're going to go, this is this is how we're going to go, we're going to go a quarter of an inch. So the first, first one is a quarter of an inch, then we're going to go to three quarters, so adding half an inch. I'm going to get rid of this before I start. start doing this. So we're going to go, so we start at a quarter, three quarters, one and a quarter, because we're going another half, one and three quarters, and then two and a quarter. So basically we've got a quarter and then four halves is what we're looking for so far. So if you can see that, we've got a quarter and then one, two, three, four half inch um, parts. Then we're going to do another quarter, so we're going to go two and a half. So we've got a quarter, and then we're going to do four more halves. So three, three and a half, four, four and a half. Then we're going to do another quarter, so four and three quarters, and then we're going to continue with halves. Then another quarter, half to four. Oh, that one jumped. So one, two, three, four, and quarter, half, 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 and half. And all being said, you're left with a little quarter. Okay? So we'll do that again. So it's a three by eleven and a half, and we're going to go at a quarter. And then four halves. Another quarter, four halves. Another quarter. Another quarter, and then four halves. Just making sure it's still in the spot. Quarter and four halves. Quarter. Four halves. And we're left with a quarter. I'm going to go and do the third one. You don't have to watch me do that. Okay, so for you, it's been a second. For me, it's been a few hours. Had a nap, went for a drive, done a, done a had lunch, done a whole lot of things. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into the hinges. Okay, so I've done the other two and all we're going to do is fold just like we would fold a paper plane or a um or a fan so you got your little quarter inch that's going to be going down the side so you can see there that's just extra um hold down space which is why if you don't have 11 and a half you'd still get by you just wouldn't have this little extra bit it'd still work okay so what we then want to do is with the four half inches, we basically want to make an M. So it will look like an M, like that. Okay, and then that's what we're kind of after. And then come along and make sure they're all nicely burnished down. 
and then you've got that M and then you can we'll just glue it at the same time makes it easier for you I I don't glue it at the end but it'll explain to you what I'm doing so then we're going to glue the M together to make a V so it was an M like that we're going to smush it together now I'm just using clacky glue um, smush it together and then it becomes a V yeah okay cool so we'll do that again so now I've got that little quarter inch I think that quarter inch is just a gusset to give us room for the stuff that goes on our, um, our you know whatever that's called the thing that holds the stuff <laughs> oh. I promise I have some brains somewhere okay another M okay so another M M M M M and we will finish them down I promise you it doesn't look this fiddly when I'm not trying to film it when you try and film it and make sure it's in in shot and stuff that it just becomes I think you'll have to ignore I have had to turn the fan on in the background because you know it's Australia it's Queensland tropics and it's springtime so it's getting hot it's getting hot okay all right so now we've got another V so we've got two V's with a little gap in between I don't think you need to watch me do the rest so I'm going to go off and fiddle with the rest and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like ugly ugly so it's all done I have put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back um, just to make my life easier so going to my, this one's a bit of a thicker double, like wider double-sided tape mainly because lazy um, and I have like five million different types of double-sided tape because you never, you know, they all have to suit different purposes. And then some glue. And Wamela Bamela, we stick it in here. And then come along and put these down coming in and burnishing in between on those quarter inch gussets making sure that they are making contact with the um, paper at the back because that's what is going to be carrying everything so make sure that's all there and that's what I mean by that extra quarter of an inch um, so the 11 and a half in the total it just gives us that little bit those wings so a little bit more um, space for it there but if they're not there, it'd still work. It's just like having that little bit of extra um, surety. And then we have the hinge bits. So while that sets up and dries, we're going to make the cards that go into it. So this is what we're aiming for, okay? We got the three by five sized card, 15 of them. And we're ending up to make one of these that look like just a big version of the embroidery cards so we got that's what we're aiming for and I'm going to show you how to do it so we're going to get out our lovely little thing called the envelope punch board and you go in and I'm just I'm not being anything too exciting I'm literally going to the end bits here because you know measuring way too much effort um, so coming through like that I think it's about an inch in and no thanks like that and then one more
like this is the only workout I do. There you go. See, he says craft doesn't give you a workout. All right, so we've got the envelope punch board. Then we're going to come in ling with a um, little slicey tool. Now you could do this with scissors. So you could come in with scissors and cut that along, or you could use a craft knife and a ruler and cut it along. So you could come along like this and a craft knife and go like that and remove it. You could do that. However, I've got this cute little thing and I like having it. This is just one of those little ones with the little drop down. And I'm just going to land up and do it quickly. Look at that. Um, I like this little guy. I saw him in one of the local stores and I just had to buy him because he was little and cute. And he's actually really handy for just little jobs like this. So he's using the big paper trimmer and stuff because I've got like the frig the Friskars um, Precision and other big ones, and the guillotines and so forth, but something like this you want to be able to do a small area quite precisely and it's excellent for that. Okay. Alright, so we got that. Now just for me, because I, I didn't want the ends getting tatty, the ones that are facing out, I've just come in then with corner rounder and Around the corners again none of this is essential have I probably gone overboard yeah but that tends to be me um, and then that, that one I'm gonna rub this out because I was gonna make where I wrote this was gonna be the one I glued but obviously of course I didn't put it the right way with scissors and just go on snip and snip. 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 And snip. And that is it. Now all we need to do is attach these guys. So what we do is come in here, tacky glue use tacky glue for this one because it, it's a tacky so it sets up quick it's coming in to the coming into the V so doing both sides of the V there and then the one that's straight so not without this so the other end just sticking it in Alright, I'm going to have to turn it this way because it's easier for me to grab it. And closing up the V. Just hold it there for 10 seconds for it to, 5 seconds for it to catch. And that's it. And then we go on to the next one. So, into the V, leaving the gusset, remembering we want that gusset there. So we're going into the V. Into the V, not the U. Alright. In and closing up. We'll do the top one and then I'll go do the other two off camera because I'm pretty certain you don't want to see me doing the same thing over and over. And I can only babble for so long. And last one, apparently you need to get the glue in the V, not the outside the V. And this is why I've used heavier cardstock, simply because it's going to bear the weight. You could just put two of the, if you only got lightweight cardstock, glue them together. 
or yeah, I'll put some decorative um, designer paper on it, make it look prettier. Um, okay, so that is what we're going for there. So we've got our five now, so we've got our Rolodex for five. And that is it. Okay, I'm going to go do the others and then I will should be back and we'll do a little bit of decorating. Okay, so let's do a little bit of decorating. I've got this sheet here, which is part of um, the kit, and I'm going to come along and I'm going to cut out this lacy bit down here and we're going to turn it into a pocket. Alright, my scissors are annoying me. It's like, you call that a knife? This is a knife. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Bit of crocodile that day. How much do I need? bit more. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Okay. And to cut it to there. Okay. Ink up the edges. This one. Actually, I might put a little knot in this one. I'm just gonna put a quick little knot in. draw straight with glue to save myself so if you're better at it than me awesome I'm not good alright there we go so we've got two little pockets we got that now let's do some decorating Alright, let's go for you and... Mm. Mm. I've got all of these little bits here, let's we'll, we'll see what we've got. got a little number.
So I was supposed to have gone and gotten my daughter from the airport this morning. She was coming home from visiting her dad. But the flight got cancelled, the plane wasn't, the engine wasn't working then, this got delayed and that got delayed and whatever else, and it's just been crazy. So hopefully, um, all going well, she will arrive at some point later this evening, otherwise I have to drive to Brisbane, which is about three hours from me. So we've got, I've got fingers crossed that it will all work out just fine. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to be there. Just done a quick little collage. Why not? Um, How does that look? A cluster with a little butterfly in a sec because I like it in odds. Alright. I've got um I went to the an antique store this morning. I had to take in some I bought at the op shop the other day a whole bunch of vintage signs and I bought it just for the frames. It was reclaimed wood in a frame and they were looked lovely. And um I wanted the frames for some of my art and I was just using the frames the um signs that were inside as background, but um, they're original and apparently they're worth lots and lots of money. So I took it into an antique store today and um, might be doing an exchange for some old books and so forth. So she's gonna go, go into her shed and see what she's got. And there's one there, I've got an antique sign of, you know, cause I went down a rabbit hole last night when she's, when I, cause I went in there yesterday with my aunt and I asked, oh, I saw an old vintage sign there, like, you know, board sign, advertising sign. I said, how much have you got on this? Because I'm like, man, this is exactly what I've got at home. Just curious. And um, she was like, yeah, $180. And I went, okay. And I went, well, I've got a whole bunch at home that I've won. I just painted over, <laughs> like literally the day before. And um, so I went home and um, I took them all in today. And um, just to kind of See, and she's like, oh my god, they're amazing. But there's one of, um, yeah, Sid Charisse um, from Silk Stockings, um, advertising Hilton Stockings. And um, I'm like, cool. And so that one, I think, is the one that's probably more valuable than the others. But they're all 1950s advertising boards. Um, and I was, yeah, I was on the net last night, and they go, quite a bit of money. And I was like, well, okay. All right, so we've got a nice little cluster there. And then we'll put something on the side. Create art every day. That's a nice one. I like that. On my, um, if you haven't seen my craft room tour, um, there is a video back a month or so of my craft room tour, and you'll see that on my my um, display units, I've got a little thing that says create art. So it doesn't matter what you do, just something be cooking. I like some days that's that's my form of art is I'll cook something. Um, this, oh, how are we going? We're nearly at an hour. Oh, it's not too bad. It's pretty good for me. I try to keep my videos around the hour mark if I'm doing something like this because I don't want you falling asleep because you know my dulcet tones of fuzziness. I'm sure that's great for you. Okay, that's a bit cute. Alright, so we've got that. Then into here, all I'm going to do is take another piece of this cardstock. I'm going to put these two on here, the other side but and I'm going to glue these down. I'm just trying to make it thicker. I didn't print this on the same the cardstock as I normally do, so it's a little bit too thin for what I want. So 
And here, this is how they come together on the sheet. It's actually joined together like that. So here I am, putting them back together. Go figure. All right, I'm just gonna slice them up. Okay, so solicited. This one I'm just going to ink up straight as is. And I'm gonna wait for that to dry a little bit. This one. I want to fold in half. Okay, it's pretty much right down the center there. Finishing that. Going to get s s nope, it's not going to let me snip off the corner of that. It's a bit too thick. All right, I'll get my um. My little corner edge tool. Uh, which one do I want to use? Might use that one. Uh, so this is just a little corner edge tool that I've made. If you want to see how I made it, let me know. Oh, I cut off the number. That's a bit rude. Oh, I wonder all that effort. I'm going to cut the number off. I wonder if I can glue him back on. Look. meant to be. Better put him down the bottom, not up the top, so when I put a hole in it, I don't ruin the number again. All right, look at that. Look at that. Let's give him a done skis. All right, so we've got a nice long tag for a pocket. Okay, then this one, let's fold it in half. And we're going to pull out some calico or unbleached linen, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Down that way. And there we go. Look. Pretty good. Don't mind that it comes out the edge. It's more rustic that way. Alright, I'm going to run a bit of this glue down the centre. Meow, meow. There we go, and there we go, we've got our little needle book. Might put something on the front here. Let's go for a little bit of lace.
just looking at the little thingies I've got here. Um, Like to stick them under. Yep, we've got over there. Got that. You can come down here. That one. And just because we'll put another butterfly on. Because I think why not? It's not a pod, so um, I've got half a ticket. Okay, so there we go. So we got that. So if we come back to this guy. Put our needle book in one of the pockets. There we go. And then we can put the tag in the other one. There we go. Um, we can add some stuff to this in a sec, which is what we're going to do now. And use some of this lens. going to put it through the front because we don't want to put it through the back otherwise we won't be able to open it. I've done that many many times just saying. what I was doing, then I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm pulling that through there. Yeah. We've got a loop if you want to hang it on something. And then we need one for the front, just for pretties. So we'll go one of that, and I think I might add a bit of pink as well. I can buy my pink please. There we go. Pink. Let's see if I can get both of them through. Ah, look at that! Yeah! I don't know if you can see. I'm like... La -da -da -da. Then we've got a little dangly bit. Cool. So that's all done. Now, while we're here, well, let's wrap a bit of lace just to show you how it works. So I've got this one on this card. I'm sure we've all done this. We've all been there with some embroidery floss, but just stick it in through one of those slits like that. And this is going to be awkward, me trying to do this on camera, but so hopefully you're not as awkward as me when you do it. 
and then all it around. You can see how old this lace is by the card that it's on. Making sure that's fully hooked over there. And then this one back through that hook. And I always like to, if I can, I'll double slot it, um, if it'll let me. And there you go. So that is it. That's what it looks like when they're in. Look at that card. Nice. All right. And um, do that with the rest of them. And yeah, that is your little lace or trim holder. So there's the other one. So that's how they end up looking. Um, yeah. So hope you've enjoyed um like i said leave me a little comment down below if you haven't already it'd be great if you could hit the thumbs up button subscribe and um i hope to see you in the next one all right as always remember be kind be strong be well see you later bye